It's called ghost stopping. It will all of a sudden on, on the highway start breaking very hard. And there will be no car in front of you, behind you. It would just break. Hey guys, this is Phil from Imagine Autos. Today I want to talk to you guys about phantom braking on Teslas that's been plaguing a lot of Tesla vehicles, including mine. And mine is a 2015 Model S. But from what I read and hear, it's been happening to a lot of Model Ys and Model 3s as well. Uh, specifically the Model Ys. Uh, if you search for Phantom Braking Tesla on YouTube, you'll find a ton of people complaining about Model Y doing the Phantom Braking uh, multiple times a day. For me, it doesn't happen as often. It happens um, maybe once or twice when I'm on the highway. So it usually only happens when it's very bright out outside. The sun is out, there's no cars in front of me and nothing next to me either. And the car would just all of a sudden break and break very hard. Let's say from 65 miles an hour to 40 in a re relatively short period of time. Like just, psh, I, I get freaked out. And so I get out of all the pilot. So I don't know if I leave it alone, if it will break all the way down to zero. I don't want to no. There's no need to find that out and get into an accident. It, what's interesting is it just never happens at night for me, right? When I have the autopilot on. I love autopilot, by the way. It's great, when, especially when you're a little tired and you have a hard time concentrating. Autopilot will keep you within the lane, will slow down when the car in front of you is slowing down, will go around curves. Obviously, you always got to have your hands on the steering wheel, especially now with the Phantom braking, you just don't know what's going to happen. It's just, that's, that's in the worst thing, the, a very a bad feeling that the autopilot gives you now. And I don't really feel as safe anymore because of this phantom braking. But again, what's interesting is it doesn't happen at night, only when it's very bright outside. First of all, the camera that is being used for autopilot sits right behind here, right behind the rear view mirror here. There's a housing here where the camera is located and it points out of the windshield. And this the windshield is in an angle like this and here's the camera. So what's happening, my theory is when it's really bright out, there's glare, there's a lot of glare on the windshield, which then the camera picks up and it gets confused and it thinks that something is in front of the car and it breaks, even though there's nothing in front of the car. What I've been thinking is maybe buy a film, one of those window tinting films, to cover the area where the camera is so that it will reduce the glare. And my theory is that it may eliminate the phantom braking issue. I don't know that yet, but I will try that. I may try that next. In the meantime, what I've done is I've changed a couple of settings on the autopilot settings in my car that is available for all Teslas as well. And I want to show this to you guys so that you can apply these same settings. Here we go. I'm now going to show you two settings I made that eliminated phantom braking for me so far. First, you go into autopilot and then you go down to forward collision warning. I've set that to from medium to early. Then the second setting I made was to disable automatic emergency braking. It says here, this setting will reset for the next drive cycle. So after you disable it, unfortunately, it will turn itself back on and you have to disable it again the next time you get into the car. So these two forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking work in tandem under normal operations. If a car in front of you, for example, stops suddenly, the forward collision warning will emit a beep. And if you have it set too early, it will beep a little bit earlier. And then the automatic uh, emergency braking system will kick in. What I've done here is I have disable the autom automatic emergency braking because I think that's what is braking when uh, doing a bright day, when there's glare on the camera and the glare causes the car to get confused and the automatic emergency braking kicks in. So now, because I have eliminated that, I am a little bit more exposed in terms of forward collision. So I've set it to forward collision too early to warn me a little bit earlier when a car in front of me stops very suddenly. And by doing so, I will give myself a little extra time to stop the car or slow down the car myself, just relying on my own reflexes. Those are the two changes I made and let's see. So I suggest you guys give this a try and leave in the comments to see 
if this will work for you. I've done this now, uh, set this forward collision warning to late and turned off automatic emergency braking now for two weeks and I have not experienced any phantom braking so far. So knock on wood. So I don't know if it's been eliminated 100% yet. The, the length of time hasn't been long enough, right? So I'm gonna try uh, you know, keeping these two settings on for the next month or so, I'll give you guys an update to see and let you guys know if that really worked or not, right? Give this a try, leave it in the comments, see if you, if this has helped you or not. I think if it still happens, uh, if, uh, if it happens to me, even with these two settings on, I think what I'm going to try next is go and get that film, apply that on, on the windshield, like just a little piece, like a windshield film that makes makes it a little bit darker and it, eliminate that glare i really think that may solve the problem until these two settings doesn't work if it doesn't work i will give that a try and i will report back in the meantime make sure you hit subscribe and like this channel and uh, i will update you guys on my progress ImagineAutos.com is the premier video-centric car shopping portal with over 1.5 million vehicles. When using the website or the app, you have access to video spotlights from our walk-around style footage of the exact car you're looking to purchase. Let's say you want to look at the conditions of the tires. All you have to do is click on the tire icon, and the video will jump ahead to show you the car's tires. ImagineAutos.com helps you imagine your next car today and our app allows users to experience augmented reality of new cars. With this feature, you can place that new car in your driveway or out on the road. So head on over to imagineautos.com to see for yourself.